Hello again. So, here it is. This is, um, I think, educational. It's definitely informative. I've been on the Waves Exchange since it was in its beta phase. And it has evolved since then. It's now um, changed from the Waves Exchange to WX Network. And basically, um, it is a place where you can buy or sell coins. And those coins are cryptocurrency. And it gives you an option, if you so wish to do that, which is to create your own. Now, when you do this, there is strict instructions that it must be used in a business sense and basically it tells you that there are fees involved in that because you're using real money. Now how I started this process was, like I say, I went through the beta phase which moved on to the waves exchange. So that's two parts. How I fund it? Well, I fund it through Coinbase, which is an American exchange. I've had an account there for some time now. Nothing big, but as I say, I'm there. And what I do there is I will check on the price of Ethereum and I will buy Ethereum. I will use my MetaMask to transfer from there, which has a fee as well. There's fees all the way along the, the whole process because you're using real money. Now, the process with the coins has changed where what they basically do now is you can create your own coin as long as it's for business. You can't create a coin just to make you rich. It doesn't work that way because you can't be prosecuted. So it gives you clear indication before you put forward your coin that it must be used for business purposes first up front. And you have to write a description out of what your named coin, because you have to name it. And that's important, because when you name something, it is attached to you. So like I say, um, you name your coin, and then It'll come up with um, on there for Waves, where basically Waves is an internal currency. It's used for um, a thing called uh, JWIX, which is another form. You can use JWIX for staking. And um, when you do staking, you lock whatever you've put in. You lock that in to the ecosystem for four years. And um, then they, over that four years, you earn a yield. I think it's each year. 
But anyway, getting back to the coin. Um, once you have put forward and you've written down your full description of what the coin is to be used for, then you have to pay your, it's normally 0 0.0005 waves and the gas fee on top of that. So because you're playing with real money, it's it's like um, it, there's a there's a cost involved, which is what I've tried to tell people. It is secure, and by which I mean that the coins which I have on there at the moment, 32k TV ink, dual energy ink, and solar travel which is yet to be pulled in they cannot be stolen by anybody because what you have to do is you are verified and that verified is to make sure that you have funds in your account and those funds are held while the transaction goes through and like I say in the process of putting forward both 32k TV Inc and dual energy um, I photograph each stage of this and I came up to the page where it had the balance which is like yes or no and it shows you other coins which are in the same process now what I didn't check was the yes no bit and the reason why I didn't check that bit was because of stresses around what's going on at home. So, like I say, as I said to Magpie Kit earlier, I have put in a request for a refund for the first time I tried to get verified on the exchange and as I said to him at the time I was asked by the internal people to provide screenshots now that is a part of your keyboard and um, I had to search for that and I asked, actually asked Magpie Kit about it, and it's called a sniping tool. So, like I say, there's a request gone in, and um, I fully expect to get the refund for the fees which were paid, and they will be put back into my account. Now, when I put forward this again then it will be for the same two again and it will be followed all the way step by step until I see the yes no vote actually moving because it was static and as we all know if you put something on a set of scales it either goes one way or the other so this is what is yet to come I will keep you all informed on that and pray that I get the yes vote and if I get the yes vote then I have the protection 
of the network. And as I said to people who are asking, the vote is internal. You have to pay to vote in the system because obviously it's real life money. I know it's digital and you can't touch it, but it is real life money. So once I get either the yes or the no, the next step is to go in if I get the yes vote and verified and then I set the price and that price goes into what's called an order book where people who want to be involved in it come along and once the price has been set they turn around and they tell me how much they want to spend and the transaction goes through and then I've basically got to when the money comes to me is convert that to US dollars then convert it from US dollars across to pound sterling and then that can be used to fulfill my part of the bargain which is to build so I hope that's sorted that out and the main thing is to build in Newcastle upon Tyne two projects and to build two projects in Rushcliffe and Nottingham and then the third project which is solar travel to get that kick started so that'll be three and then there'll be another two later in the year so that is the update for you on that and I hope that you understand what I'm saying and thank you very much <laughs>